camera zoomed all in, brother. Huh? The camera was zoomed in the whole time. I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what is up you two? Monty back with another video man as always another dope video for y'all another fun review man as always man so um The reason let me tell you something the reason why I'm doing these reviews right now is because I like I said I am trying to decide on uh, What truck I want to get so the last Ford, y'all seen it, it was sick, insane. A little overpriced, but it was because of lifting wheels, but still, a little overpriced. But I love Ford, they super dope, as far as like the big uh, super duty trucks, in love with them, man. But these Rams, oh my God, man. They have been coming, especially this one right here. This one is completely insane. But before we get into reviews, man, I gotta say thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to my channel, man. We get closer and closer to that 9K mark, which means we that much closer to that 10K mark, man. Oh, y'all know we when we get to 10K, oh, I got a lot of stuff planned for y'all, man. So, um, like I said, now I've been getting, I posted in the last video, but I've been getting, um, I've been trying to get some suggestions. So, what do y'all think I should do to War Machine? So, of course, I've been saying I want to change it up. I feel like it's dope the way it is. I really do, but I feel like it is time to change it up. I'm getting close to 10K, so it's time to change it up. Give y'all something new, something fresh, man. So, uh, I want to get y'all opinion. So, let me get y'all, at the end of the day, the car is for the channel. So, should y'all, do y'all think I should change a war machine? Or should, you know, do y'all think I should keep it the same? Keep it as war machine, leave it alone. Keep it as it is. Or do y'all think I should add something to it or do something different to it? I have been thinking about wrapping the car. I've been thinking about changing the whole design of the car and making a completely different scheme. So y'all comment down below. Let me know what you think. But man, y'all already know, all 2019 we going up. We're not stopping, man. We finna keep climbing the charts. We finna keep going up. All the way up there. Up, up, up. <laughs> he said we're going up there. <laughs> but y'all go subscribe to my boy channel, man. His name will be in the description in the video. Him and Life 44, baby. But, um, I just showed y'all truck, but it don't even matter, man. It don't matter. So <laughs> we finna get straight to it, man. But let me show y'all this monster of a truck, man. Now it's not, it don't have the lift kit like the Ford does. So of course I would have to put my own lift kit on there, which I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm perfectly fine with it. So that means I ain't gotta pay twenty thousand dollars for no lifting wheels. But bam, look at this, man. This is insane. I promise, bro. This, this has got it got me. I know the last four kind of had me like ah, I was leaning more towards the Ford, but this right here, this got me leaning back towards Ram again, man. But this is a Longhorn, a Laramie Longhorn 2500 Super Duty 2019 Longhorn. Let me say that. Uh, just from looking at it, man, I like it. I really like it. I feel like, of course, you know, the factory rims on there, all that kind of good stuff, but with a nice lift kit. This will be insane. And it is just so much to this truck, bro, that is like really just like, it's really like just getting to me, man. Like this truck, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. But let me let me first show y'all something. <laughs> let me show y'all these keys, man. Before I even get to like to the truck completely, man, let me show y'all these keys. Look at this. These are the keys. This is so dope, bro. You see how I got like the little gold, little finish to it? That is insane. Now remember this little gold finish because it is all throughout the inside of the truck. So you see how the outside, and this is why I love this truck. This is what really got me going, like leaning more towards Ram now. You see how the ins how the you know how the outside looks. A nice black finish, nice, nice looking black finish. But wait till we step on the inside. I'm not gonna step, I'm not gonna step in just yet. Y'all know y'all gonna get a little sneaky anyway, because y'all finna give y'all this slow motion video in three, two, one, go! Josiah has arrived. 
so that was your sneak peek into the truck as you can see from the inside this thing does have the the 12 inch screen the screen that i am completely crazy about man but so yeah i got the sneak piece let's go ahead and get to this review man but this thing right here is very very dope man this thing is an insane truck i feel like it is like when you you feel so huge when you're driving it even without the lift you just feel so huge when you get out when you're driving it but as you can see from right here man this thing has like so many like compartments even on the inside and it's just like it's insane but now one thing i will say is like from the back it don't look like it's that much space because they got so much stuff going on back here it's like all this does something so let's go ahead and get in here man and see what we got going on and as you can see like that falls down slow that is i really like this like this i feel like that is like people that got trucks y'all know like stuff like that that's very important that's very important the thing i do like about ford is that they have the thing that comes down the little step up to where you can just step up into the truck and you ain't gotta you know pull a spider-man slash gymnastic move to get in the back of the truck but we ain't got it so we just gotta do it anyway let's go uh, we up there but as y'all can see man this truck has it, this truck got so much stuff that goes on man up here so much stuff that goes on up here it comes with all this it comes with all this so uh, yeah jump down man that's a long way down too, actually. But so we finna open this up so y'all can see what all we got in here. Yes, man, we are. We are. <laughs> oh yeah, soccer player. You guess. You, you the best soccer player? No. Oh, you gonna you gonna be there though. You getting there, bro. Yeah, keep working on it. You got anything you want to shout out, man? Um no, not really. Okay, okay. Yeah, hey, you hurt your hand, brother? Yeah, I I uh I was at Boy Scout camp you now and I was sharpening a knife and I almost cut off my finger. <laughs> hey man, hey, that's rock star way of living, brother. I like that man. I like that, man. That's a rock star way of living. I'm gonna hey. watch you guys' channels. Hey, man, okay. I appreciate you. I yeah, appreciate hey. you. Yeah. yeah, man. All right, y'all gonna see y'all self on nerve. Y'all, y'all see this car or you see right. that truck? That's the video you want. Yep. All right. Thank you. No problem. I love y'all's car. Thank you. Oh, well, I appreciate you. Thanks. I appreciate you. Hey, man. That's what it's about, man. Touching yes, and inspiring somebody. Yes, that's exactly sir. what it's about. That's why I do this. I don't do this because I feel like I'm trying to be a celebrity or anything like that. Not, I want to make sure I can touch as many people as I possibly can in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion I can do that in. That's why I do this. For this the reasons like that is why I do this. So you push that in there. Push it on down in there. And you should. You got, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got to hit that thing clip. Then you can, you can put your nice little old tools or for your concealed carriers. Or <laughs> you may not be. And for this. It may be something that you can't conceal, but you need to have it in the truck anyway. But they do have the big plug in there for you. You may have it for whatever you want. You may, you may want to do a little tailgate. You got those plugs right there. And I don't, I really don't know why somebody or how somebody could fit in here that would need to pull this. But I mean, I don't know, man. I really don't know. But just in case, you may get it. But we, I got work to do. Ask your boy leaving with Mozzie. I didn't mean to interrupt nothing. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, for the second time, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm, I'm trying to do it. <laughs> As you can see just from looking at it, bro, you can tell like this thing has a lot of room on the inside. A lot of room on the inside. So you already know, man, we finna jump in this thing and find out what's what's to it. So what I do like the most about this, this truck has it does what I was saying about I wish the Ford had is the retractable footstep. You know, I really, really like that. But we in there. Oh, and we in there. We got a lot of room in here. I'll tell you that right now. We got a lot of room in here. Do you see that I'm like, I can stretch out, man. I can really stretch out back here. But of course, just like any other big trucks that I always have, you know, the part where you can plug up, you know, your outlet. And um, you can also plug up your USB, stuff like that, warm up the seats. Of course, the air conditioning. And I like these little mats. That's kind of, kind of, kind of neat. <laughs> That's kind of neat. But look at this interior like just period bro like that gold that i was showing y'all that's on the key fob 
your little gold that's all through the key fob is like all trimmed around like the inside of the truck like almost everywhere like the door handles all of that bro like and you can see right there the little the little, little snake butt they got right there going on this thing is insane and they got like the little little belt little belt buckle i like that man this is say hey man this thing is insane. The only thing, the only thing that I do not like about this truck that I like about the Ford, which I know that the, some Rams do have it. They have the panoramic roof as well, but this does not have the sun roof. I need that. This would be the perfect truck if this had the sun roof. But <clears throat> we're gonna go to the front so we can check out that 12-inch screen. Cause let me tell you something. That thing is nice. But as always, I need y'all to start the video right here. Comment down below. Let me know how much you think this truck is, and at the end of the video, I'll let you know how much it really is. That's pretty nice for a diesel. Yeah, but pretty nice. Is that so, wood grain up there, brother? Uh, there's wood grain on here, brother. Oh lord. Oh lord. Yes, sir. Oh, I like the way it feels. That wood grain wheel right here. Oh, uh oh. Top right. Top right. <laughs> and you see that right there, the little old, little old. Little snake butt they got going on right there all through this thing but this right here i feel like this is crazy like to have this right here on the server that's like a huge huge statement like just having it right here but this right here is what i want to show you this is what i love this is what i want and i need to have this in my truck and i really been thinking about having it some way somehow installed in my hellcat but this right here this 12 inch screen this is crazy so y'all can see exactly where we at that is the DLR ship, but that is this this is you know that's where we at right there though. But this is crazy, man. Like this is really crazy. And of course they have like the towing and all that kind of good stuff, the back cameras, all that bro. The same as you know, it's the four, they just have a 12 inch screen, which I feel like is insane. But this right here, this is completely insane. Now this, I mean, all these compartments that is in this truck, it's so much stuff in here so much stuff and then even when you do that okay i'll, I'll leave this up you can put this back i didn't mean to hit that but yeah you can see that that has that that comes back this comes back and so when you put this down then you have the space down here as well of course you have another outlet and so let me tell you what happened yeah, I'm sweating. It's hot, man. It's hot out here. But so I was looking for a place to charge my phone in the truck. I was looking for like the car plug part. Uh, it only had like the actual car jack for it. So I'm looking. I'm like, I'm like, man, I cannot find, you know, the car part to charge it anywhere. I looked all in here. I looked right there. I'm looking all over this truck, and I could not find it for nothing. So just not even thinking, I just set my phone right here, and that is a charger this whole part right here is a phone charger so as you can see the door is closed and now the phone is charging that blue light that shows that the phone is charging officially my sister texts me but this does have 120 on the dash it's 20 more than what the ford is um but this truck is dope man as you can see like the little ridges the little gold ridges that goes around around here and around there it's all over this dashboard and it is just completely insane and so the actual car jack part is right here and they got a little gold in it too but this right here this wood grain with the little gold bronze copper whatever they want to call that color and these seats these leather seats all this is like completely insane bro and plus of course man this 12 inch screen like you cannot beat that you cannot beat that whatsoever like this truck is completely insane uh it really does has me thinking about going back to the Ram, man. Like the Ford has, Ford has nothing on this, nothing on this, not on this one. Maybe another, maybe another 2500, but this one, nah, man. This has to be like the best pickup truck that I've ever that I've ever reviewed. Now you let me know if it's another one, another diesel, not an actual pickup truck, because I would say the the best pickup truck. To me, as of right now, that's actually made and created and in, in production and selling and stuff like that will have to be the Ford Shelby. But that's not a that's not a diesel. Let me know what you think is the best diesel. There's something that's better than this. Y'all comment down below and let me know. Because as of right now, I don't think nothing is better than this. Like look at this. 
the black outside with like the brown is gold is inside interior that is crazy bro all this thing needs is a sunroof because i need my sunroof and a nice a nice lift kit and some tires and this will be completely insane of a truck so now y'all let me know what y'all thought the price was so this is how much it actually is this is sitting at 83 83,000 and that because this it's really like 80,000 but all the extra stuff they put on there as far as the dealership adds to like the window tin and wheels locks and all this other kind of stuff they got the spray in uh bed liner which is very important for a truck most people that have trucks know how important like this spray in bed liner is because that keeps from when you're putting wood and whatever else you put in the back of trucks you know keep you from actually scratching the paint it'll just you know be on this which actually that that's very good so um this truck is insane man it really is like it's it rides smooth it's pretty dope of a truck completely inside and out the inside is just what kills it for me completely because if i was just looking from the outside i mean pretty much it just looked like the ford truck that i drove you know like put some black wheels on it you know a nice lift kit it kind of looked exactly like the ford truck but the inside of this truck just completely killed the game i mean like come on man like look at this who would expect this in an all black truck with the gold like all through here like that is crazy with the 12 inch screen bro like nothing is really killing this right now if you ask me nothing is killing this right now so comment down below let me know what you think as of right now i think ram is winning this one i'm i'm leaning back i'm, I'm leaning back toward 2500s man the ford is i don't know ford don't have nothing on this at all so y'all comment down below let me know which one you think is better this one or the black ford truck that i drove because i'm still indecisive on which one i really want to get i love ford's super dude don't get me wrong like the whole look of them the way they look i feel like it's an aggressive look but this right here the inside of this truck completely kills any ford truck to me so y'all comment down below let me know what you think should i go with the 2500 like this one or should i go with the f250 so y'all comment down below let me know what you think let me know what you thought the price was so with this this is still kind of overpriced to me 83 might as well say thousand you know ninety thousand dollars so i i'm not gonna pay that much so i will happily i would definitely have to go and find one that looks just like this but not as high price as that but um uh, i'm in love with this truck man i really am like this kind of just took the cake for me as far as trucks so y'all coming down below and let me know what you think and let me know what you think i should do with war machine should i change her up or should i keep it the same but y'all already know how in every last one of my videos, man. Whoever told you Scott the limit lied to you because we know absolutely no limit, man. So let's get this money. Uh -huh.